isn't this just the case? Every time you go to use your wheelbarrow or even your riding mower, you come out and your tires just flat. I'm going to go over wheelbarrow tires and it kind of pertains to riding mower tires. So, those as well. There's some good reasons to manufacture flaws of why these go flat, why they give you such headache, and you don't necessarily need to spend 60, 70 bucks just on a flat free wheelbarrow tire because you're just so fed up with it, you don't want to deal with it. Now this pertains to tubeless tires. The bead, pretty typical, you go out to use it. If it's not off the bead, as soon as you start rolling with it, it pops right off the bead, you get dirt everywhere. Um, you can't get the bead to seat. And one of the reasons why is because manufacturers have decided they can save themselves $2 by putting a tubeless tire. But in doing so, they use rims that were designed for tubes. They use the same old rims they've been using forever that are meant for tubes. You say, what? Then how do they put a tubeless tire? Well, because they can and it holds air when it's under extreme pressure. Same with this riding mower tire here. It'll hold as long as there's pressure. This is actually a brand new tire, brand new rim. But, of course, it sits, pops right off the bead. Here, we have a tire that is old. This is probably from the 80s. And it has been sitting, and it has not... I haven't touched this tire in probably six years, and it has not popped off the bead. Why? Because this is a tire and rim combo that is designed for tubeless. And you'll notice right here this little indent right here that locks the bead on you'll notice on this no indent the rim can just slide right off this is you know they deem this rim a uh, tubeless tire rim tube or tubeless but this is clearly a tube rim wheelbarrow tire you see and they're all this way they just slope straight in they don't even have a a nice flat shoulder for a little while. Most of them don't. They just slope right in. So this tire just has to lose a little bit of air pressure and it just pops right in. You need to have a little bit of a lip for the bead of the tire to rest on to keep it there. That's my little teeny rant, but so now how do we fix it? How do we remedy this? Well, there is no perfect remedy. The perfect remedy is to go to spend 60, 70 bucks on a flat free tire and forget it. But I don't want to spend more than I did on a wheelbarrow just to keep my tire from going flat. But there's a couple cheap solutions to prolong this and make this not even two times better, like ten times better than it is. The first is, if you really want, buy a $3 tube, $4, $5 tube, and stick it inside. That's the first thing you can do. That's the easiest thing you could do. Um, fill, just cut off the air, put a regular you know, tube through it, fill it up, you're way better. But you're still susceptible to like thorns and stuff like that. But you can emit those by doing things like here I have a chunk of mud flap and I've done this before on garden tractor tires and stuff that are pretty thin and wheelbarrow tires are about as thin as they get. They just lay a chunk of mud flap, anything, uh, milk bottles, something around the inside and then put the tube up against that and that makes a flat proof tire. That tire is virtually impossible to puncture. But the next is a flat freeze thing. These things, these uh, these fix the flats, stuff like that, they suck. So I'm not talking about these. These absolutely suck. Um, these are good for one reason or one thing only and that's just to add just a teeny bitty air to your tire. But they don't seal with crap. If you do get a tire to seal, it fails almost immediately. What I like, what I use is tire sealants. The one you have to pump through the valve stem. Slime is the uh, the ultimate brand, the brand that everybody knows. Not the best, not the worst, but uh, you know, equal to everything else. Slime is the brand um, that you can find anywhere. Um, I use some other rotary brands, something like that, but what you do is you essentially inject it into the tire, and if your bead is broken like this, you don't even need to take the valve stem out. All we do is start injecting some in. Of the stuff that claims it seals like quarter inch holes, and it really does work. Um, it all does the same thing, it's all about the same, you find a cheap one, but you should be able to find a little teeny bottle, you only need like half, so you, know, you should be able to find a teeny bottle for about 10 bucks of the slime at Walmart, something like that, you only need like two, three, maybe even five dollars worth of a half of it, maybe. But what we're going to do is we're going to inject some in, and it's going to seal any huge punchers if we get them in the future, but the biggest thing is to seal this bead area, you know, seal that all the way along and keep this airless tire 
from or this tubeless tire from actually popping out. It's an airless tire right now, you see? No air. But keep it from popping off in the future. And if you do decide to go the tube route, which is even better, is to actually inject this stuff into the tube because this stuff really will for a wheelbarrow tire that's so paper thin. Um, it keeps it, you know, those thorns and stuff from puncturing. But all I'm going to do is take some. I'm just going to in, inject in a couple squirts. It's actually nice that it's off the rim because I can get it in this bead. And that's what I want to kind of do. I kind of want to lube up this bead all the way around both sides. As a falling out. Be broken off the bead. And if you guys, you know, want to know how to seed a bead, um, one of the easiest things that I always do is I use what I call the slam method. I start building it up and I just pound it. Pound it from the sides and it always works for me. But, but you always got to take the weight off. You can't feel this. If you got this flat on the ground and then try to fill it with a bead flat, rarely can you ever do it. What the slam method does is it forces air, forces these beads out. So we'll just start putting a little bit of air in it. I'll even see if I can do it. One hand running the air pump. Got it. Random tip when you're using this uh, this tire sealant stuff, if you want to make it go further and get the best bang for your buck, the problem with this is actually putting enough in so it flows everywhere. But what this does, it has like um, cotton fibers, other stuff, stuff that lodges in the hole, goes out the hole partially and seals it up too large. But this right here, winter formula windshield washer fluid. You can dilute it up to like about 50, I've diluted it up to about 50%. You can put 50% of this, 50% of this, you know, and that will go anywhere. So inject some of this into the tube, inject, you know, you know, I'll inject a quarter cup of this, quarter cup of the other stuff, and that tube will be perfect, sealed forever. Trying to silt the, the hole right here. Got to put the valve core back in. Hopefully you find that tip handy. There you go. Hopefully that gives you the confidence to actually uh, tackle that yourself. And if you already have a tube in your wheelbar tire and the tube is flat in your wheelbar tire, that slime stuff works amazing and keeps sealing. And you can just put that right in. But if your tube is dry rotted or something like that, you've left it for a long time, if you, if you run it and you ripped off the valve stem, it's not going to seal a hole where you don't have a valve stem. So you got to put a new tube in or run a tubeless but the same thing with these uh, there's riding mower tires the front ones that are notorious for going flat put a little slime around those beads um slam it get that thing to see and that slime seals and it stays in there and it doesn't rust the rim or anything else like that thanks for watching hopefully that helps somebody gives them confidence thanks for watching guys see you soon